Today we are taking the stereo out of a 2006 Nissan Frontier. Uh, this radio is commonly seen in the shop, the uh, single CD player for not ejecting or accepting CDs. Uh, the six CD changer is pretty much the same problems. And we're going to move forward with the uh, removal on this one. We're going to start with our pry tool and start with a little pocket that's on the top of this and pry along the edges and this will release all the clips and uh, bring the pocket up. We're going to remove this pocket and set it to the side. Uh, this exposes a screw back here in the back and we're going to remove this screw. And now this will allow us to get to the uh, front panel here. Uh, next we're going to move on to the panel that's around the dash. We're going to start at the bottom and uh, pry this panel from the dash. Usually you got to work your way around to find a loose spot to start it. There we go. We got the left side started. I'm going to move over to the right side. There we go. There we go. A little bit of finger pressure on the panel releases it. I'm going to take this panel. Uh, there's always a chance of the airbag light when you disconnect the uh, airbag connector if we decide to do that. Uh, don't turn the ignition on or off because this can cause the airbag light to continue to blink. Uh, we seem to have enough play in this one where we're just going to move this panel forward and down. This will allow us to get to the car stereo. There's uh, one mounting screw here on the left at the bottom remove this screw. One screw up here on the top left on the bracket that holds the stereo in place. I'm going to remove that screw. One here on the top right as well. And one remaining screw on the bottom right. Screws removed. We can pull the stereo from the dash. There are usually several connectors to this stereo. Uh, the antenna lead is here on the bottom. We can grasp this lead and wiggle it and pull that loose. There are two main connectors here. They have triggers on them. If I can move them around to see where you can see these triggers. And usually on Nissan, the triggers are, are pretty difficult to push down, and it's a little trigger on there that you push down. This allows the uh, lock that's on the connector to release. And of course, the Nissan, like I said, is very difficult, so we're going to take our screwdriver and uh, push down on the trigger. while removing the connector, while, while attempting to remove the connector. There we go. This is the main connector. I'm going to push down on that trigger and remove the connector. Now, uh, these triggers are usually on the longer side of all the connectors, and these triggers have to be pushed down into the connector. It releases a little lock on it, and then you can remove the connector. Um, this is how you remove the stereo from a Nissan Frontier. Hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.